I'm Cyrus, the honorary chaplain here at Pentonville. Philip O'Neill. I hadn't seen you at any of our services. And wanted to introduce myself and uh, see if there's anything I could do for you. Oh, I appreciate that. I think I'm good. I've just only recently become incarcerated here. Well, I'm sorry you find yourself behind bars. As a former inmate, I know how disconcerting that can be. I didn't realize a former felon could be a chaplain. Uh, my journey has been an enlightening one. I uh, spent years making all the wrong choices, and finally I allowed myself to listen to what God had been trying to tell me all along. That I was not beyond saving, if only I would trust in him to guide me. And now that I've been given a chance at redemption myself, I try to pay it forward by helping other lost souls. That's quite a transformation. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Well, it, it turns out this is my calling. Helping others find a way forward when all seems lost. I can see something's troubling you, brother. Maybe I can help. When we confess our sins, we're not punished, but rather rewarded for having the courage to bear our souls. With penance and absolution, our conscience is freed and we're able to step forward with a clear heart. Starting without me? I'm disappointed in you, Anna. I thought we'd come to an understanding. Yeah, so did I. I don't think I'm violating that in any way. If you will excuse me, my detective and I are in the middle of an operation. One that was never cleared by me. Imagine my surprise when I'm informed that Philip O'Neill is not available for questioning tonight because he's at a religious service on your orders. Yes, well, I stand by my decision. And may I remind you that this is my jurisdiction and O'Neill is a possible witness. So I am at liberty to conduct my investigation any way I choose. But you are not at liberty to keep the FBI in the dark. Which is why I'm shutting this operation down.